so now we are going into dual gate mosfet okay so as you know the name indicates it is going to have two gates just like multi emitter uh, transistors where you have multiple emitters same way this dual gate mosfets are also in market where you have multiple gates so dual gate means it is going to have two gate terminals okay so every uh, uh, the function of integrated circuits the inter ic's were discovered in 1960 and uh, the function of ic's have been enormous so it is doubling every year so every year new ic's are discovered every year new applications are discovered and these ic's are matched to all the applications so this is going to be resulting in the revolution of ic circuits so you have lot of applications where ic's are required and this constant demand is pushing the integrated circuit industry to fabricate new ic's and to venture into new areas of application this trend is known as moore's law in the semiconductor industry you go and uh, this is going to be called as moore's law moore's law means now moore is the name of a scientist who is working in vlsi vlsi is very large scale integrated circuits and what he is uh, saying is so every 6 months the the chip size is going to be uh reduced by half it is going to be smaller and smaller because there is going to be a huge uh, demand for the ics so what he is saying is the sustained growth in vlsi technology is fueled by continued shrinking of transistors to small dimensions so all the transistors uh uh what he says is the transistor size will be keeping on reducing year after year as and when the new technology is going to appear or the new applications are going to appear because of the technology which is going to offer many features like higher packing density the higher packing density means i am going to have more transistors in one chip higher circuit speed and all these transistors are going to work at enormous speed and low power dissipation have been the key in the evolutionary progress leading to all these applications so if you do, if you don't have the ic technology now we could not imagine what all applications we are using today so those applications cannot be realized using the ic technologies because of these three important properties high packaging density higher circuit speed and low power dissipation this is driving today's industry towards computer you see so many applications wireless and communication systems so that offer superior performance so every day the technology is evolving every day new uh, technology is uh, coming every day the fabrication methodology becomes different which is going to create new and new milestones in the ic fabrication technology and uh, this ic fabrication technology is going to help the semiconductor industry a lot by fabricating different types of new uh, devices so you know mosfet is going to be without mosfet you cannot have integrated circuits and the mosfets are going to have a very high switching speed and circuit speed increases with miniaturization which is the advantage of bjt so we have seen the comparison of mosfet and bjt so when you compare mosfet and bjt mosfet is going to have a very high switching speed and the circuit speed is also going to be very high when you compare to bjt but as the device gets smaller and smaller the circuit becomes denser and denser and more complex so when you, over a certain level kamala we cannot uh, fabricate this device because it becomes very small so when the device becomes very small the circuit has to be correct in that small size also so circuit will become denser and it will become more complex okay so you'll have lot of problems involved in the uh, fabrication technology and high frequencies when you are going to operate this device at high frequency you will have the effect of parasitic capacitance that is also going to become active and also the gate channel capacitance will limit the switching speed of your mosfet so for a very good high frequency response this ratio should be large gm by 2 pi cg gm is the transconductance of mosfet and cg is the gate capacitance only if this factor is going to be large your frequency response will be good so when gm by 2 pi cg has to be large denominator has to be small so denominator has 2 pi 2 pi is a constant and cg has to be small so we have to reduce the value of gate capacitance for high speed switching of your device so these are the problems encountered by mosfets when they are going to operate at a very high frequency so when the gate capacitance is going to be 
smaller, the gate length should be short. So this is achieved by fabricating gates with shorter insulated gate technology. So technology is going to have answer for every problem. So just give the problem and technology will clearly say how to solve the problem. So when the MOSFET is going to become smaller and smaller, the drain and source will become very close. So what happens when the drain and source become very close, the gate source potential will not be that much effective to control the current flow in the region. See, the distance between the source and drain is going to be a channel length, right? So when the channel length is going to become smaller and smaller, there is no impact on VGS on the channel length because channel length is very small and whatever voltage you are going to apply, the same current is going to flow inside the channel. So that problem is there in MOSFET. When the size of MOSFET is going to reduce down and down, the source and drain become very close and the gate control voltage cannot limit the flow of current in the channel region. So this effect is called the short channel effect. So this short channel effect is going to start affecting MOSFETs when you are going to fabricate the device smaller and smaller. When, that, uh, when the device becomes smaller and smaller in size, the short channel effect is going to start now we are creating problems for you. So what is short channel effect? Short channel effect is going to arise when the control of channel is affected by the electric lines of force from the source and drain. So when you are going to apply a voltage VGS, it no longer controls your drain current ID because my channel length is going to be very, very small. So this effect is going to be called as short channel effect. When will short channel effect come? When I'm going to fabricate my MOSFET with dimensions very, very smaller. Just to make the device compact, if we start reducing the dimension of MOSFET, the short channel effects will start uh, aggregating.